to my kitchen. Y'all, it is eggnog pound cake time. So many of you have made wonderful suggestions as to the different kinds of cakes that you want me to try and eggnog was certainly on that list so that's what we're doing today now i must admit i've never ever ever until most recently tasted eggnog so i had to taste it once i purchased this eggnog um and i ended up getting the southern comfort traditional non-alcoholic eggnog I started doing my research and I was looking for one that had more of a nutmeggy taste to it I can't really remember exactly which one I was looking for but I didn't find it so I purchased this one and this one tastes really good as well so I'm good with this one now we're also gonna need three cups of swans down cake flour to that I've added one fourth teaspoon of salt and then half teaspoon of baking powder and I'm also going to be using one fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then I'm using a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg now you guys I've put the cinnamon the nutmeg the baking powder the salt all of that is already in my cake flour. Now, Swan's Down comes pre-sifted in the box. But once I add the extra ingredients, I like to sift it one more time. Speaking of all the ingredients, the extra stuff that I put in here and sift it one more time, you guys, okay, I'm going to try to say this real nice. Listen, you guys, I do not put all of the step-by-step -step instructions in the description box because I give you a visual of the step-by-step -step instructions. Of course, I provide all of the ingredients, but all that type and the extra step, I'm not doing that because I'm giving you a visual of step-by-step -step and because I'm a visual person, so, you know, that helps me. So, I provide that for you guys. Please, watch the video if you want to know how to bake the cake y'all don't be asking me questions that I've answered in the video that tells me one of two things either you missed it which is possible when I was going through it or you fast forwarded to the end of the video to look at the cake and you didn't watch it and then you want to ask me the question when I provided the answer in the video. Y'all, that's aggravating to me. Now, I'm trying to be nice. So, um, all I'm saying is don't do that, okay? Because I might answer your question, and then again, I might not answer your question for one or two reasons. I have so many comments I can't keep up, or either two, it depends on my mood. And I might not feel like answering it because you, listen, Okay, I love y'all, <laughs> but I'm going to need y'all to watch the video, okay, okay. All right, now that I've gotten off my soapbox, <laughs> I'll also be using, oh, and here's my one cup of eggnog. I didn't show that to you guys. That looks so creamy and good, you guys. That's my one cup of eggnog. Then we have three cups of sugar. And I have five eggs that are room temperature. They're large eggs. They've already been cracked. And then I have three sticks of unsalted butter. Somebody asked me, please say if it's salted or unsalted. And sometimes I forget. But if I don't say it's salted, then I always use unsalted butter. And it is room temperature as well. As well as the eggnog is room temperature. Then we're going to use about a tablespoon of this pure vanilla. And y'all know I'm gonna have to put just a little, just a little bit of my my cream bouquet in there. I can't have just just a little bit. It's an artificial flavoring for those of you that don't know, and it's like bakery in a bottle, and it's so so good. It really is. Okay. And then we're going to add a little eggnog glaze with powdered sugar, and I'm gonna add just a little cream cheese to it, just to kind of give it a little oomph. You know, 
kind of thicken it up a little bit. And I believe that's everything. Oh, two more things before we get started. Somebody also asked me with the gingerbread cake, they wanted the gingerbread pound cake. They wanted to use a little more ginger and then less of one of the other spices that I use. You guys, that is perfectly fine. Make your cakes the way you like it. I'm just kind of giving you guys a foundation and you guys get creative and do whatever you like, whatever your taste buds prefer as it pertains um, to the cakes. Okay, even with, I'm using the half teaspoon of nutmeg. You may not want that much. So make it your own. Okay, second thing. Y'all, I've already washed my hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. I'm going to start by adding my three sticks of softened butter to my mixer. You guys, don't be, don't be causing me to come on here and fuss. I be trying not to fuss. I be, I be trying to be nice and I think I've done pretty good for the most part. I don't be trying to fuss because I love y'all. But some of y'all don't be doing y'all homework. And you don't be studying then when you come to class. You be wondering why you didn't pass the test because you didn't do your homework. In other words, I'm going to need y'all to pay attention to the video. Asking me questions, and I know I and then y'all make me go back to the video and look at it because I be saying, Wait a minute, I know I said it in my video. Y'all don't know how many times I have started typing a response, and then I've had to delete that response out because I'm telling you, I'd be ready to go in on some of y'all, be like, Listen, but I'm trying not to do that, so um, I said it as nice as I possibly could say it today. I'm going to need y'all to look at the video and don't be asking me questions that I've answered in the video. Okay. Okay, you guys. So, three sticks of softened butter. Now, I'm going to turn on the mixer in just a few minutes just to start mixing up the butter. Mix it maybe about five or six seconds, okay? Then you're going to see me slowly adding my sugar. Now, once all the sugar is added, I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar. I'm going to do that for about 10 or 12 minutes, and I do set a timer, okay? We're going to cream the butter and sugar until it's light and fluffy. You don't want to hear those sugar crystals mixing around in the bottom of your bowl, okay? And this is the, this is the, the part of the cake mixing that you have to be patient and really do. Now, once that's creamed, I'm going to add my five eggs one at a time. You're going to see me add that first egg. You'll see me add that last egg. But remember, I've added five eggs in all. And once we get done with that, then we'll come back. And then I'll talk you through what we're going to do next. Okay? Got it?
Now that we've creamed our butter and sugar, we've added our five eggs. It's time to start adding the dry and wet ingredients. Now before I start doing that, I like to go on and add my flavorings to my milk, or in this case, to my eggnog. Eggnog. So I'm going to go on and add my pure vanilla. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of it. And then my cream bouquet. We're going to add just a little bit. I'm trying to hold this up so you guys can see. Okay. It's probably about a teaspoon. All right. Now, during this process, you want to be careful, be mindful not to over mix. You're going to start with your dry ingredients, which is your flour mixture, and you want to end with your dry ingredients. Now, we're not trying to get it mixed up where it's really, really smooth. We're just trying to mix enough to incorporate the flour with the eggnog, okay? Oh, you'll see me add the first little bit of flour and then I'll add some eggnog and then I won't show you the entire rest of that process. Then you'll see me adding that last little bit of flour. I thoroughly sprayed my cake pan with Baker's Joy. So now we are ready to pour and bake. You guys, I see little specks of the of the nutmeg and the cinnamon in my batter. It's gonna be good.
trying to get most of the batter out of this bowl because I'm trying not to have so much left over to tempt me to want to eat. I'm trying to do better. Better. I said I'm just going to eat the batter that's on the, the beaters. I'm trying to do better eating batter on the beaters. True story though. I really am. Love cake batter, you guys. Do any of you love to eat cake batter? Mm -hmm. I do, I do. Okay. I'm trying to get this as level as possible. Hitting it under the bottom to release air bubbles. We're going in 325 degrees. About an hour and 15 minutes. If I need more time, I'll add more time. All right, you guys, we have been baking an hour and 15 minutes. Isn't that pretty? So now we're going to cool for at least 10. In the meantime, we're going to do this really quick glaze. You guys know I do not use a mixer. I mix it by hand. And I want it to have a little substance to it. So that's why I'm going to do just a little bit of uh, cream cheese. And I may be using maybe about 2 ounces of cream cheese this time. And I don't measure. When I first add the cream cheese, I like to just kind of break it up and, you know, get it. Helps it get softer, which makes it easier to mix. It has been sitting out a little bit, so it's room temperature. Okay. And then we're just going to add some powdered sugar, however much you like. Definitely going to use the last little bit that's in this bag. And of course I have more. Okay. We're adding some vanilla. My vanilla extract. And then we're also going to add... One thing about your liquid that you add, be careful not to add too much because once you get it in, you can't take it out. And I like for it to be a little thicker in the beginning because that makes it easier for me to get it smooth. I already see I need a little bit more. get it to your desired consistency. More often than not, I like a thick glaze. Every once in a while, I'll fix something that calls for a thinner glaze. But honey, I had to have something on my cake. Something running down that cake. Look at this pretty creamy, smooth glaze. See that? Okay. 
here. So we'll come back once the cake is cool. Eggnog pound cake. So it's still quite hot. So we're going to let it continue to cool before we put the glaze on it. Oh, and you guys, I think I want to add a little bit of nutmeg to my glaze. Just a little bit. And I would grab the wrong one, wouldn't I? Just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit, you guys. Okay. All right, we're glazing. Eggnog pound cake with an eggnog cream cheese simple glaze and of course the extra glaze is down in the hole. You guys see the little bit of nutmeg sprinkled on top? It is time. And here come the Greed Monster. And I'm not telling you what kind it is. I, I think I can figure out it's got something to do with pound cake. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> Jackson. G Mar gonna get you. Boy, that looks good. Do we have any ice cream here? Don't worry about it. Please, help me somebody. You don't need ice cream. Oh, I like that. You getting your own piece? No, this is for Donnie. We're going to share. Are you ready for your piece? I like that. Oh, first let me show Look at their guys. I'd like to share every part with you, man. You have to share with me? Oh, you're doing so I'm glad you'd like to share with me. I'm getting me. better. I'm getting better. You're getting better. better. Here, too. You are getting Get better. Way. I'm so proud of you. If you would like, I want you to take the first piece. Aw, thank you, baby. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that tastes like yeah. Christmas. Christmas. I mean, it has some ice in it. Jackson. Everybody want to hear you doing all that screaming. <laughs> Y'all forgive him. <laughs> Did you give him some cake? Oh, y'all, that's good. That's Christmas. That's Christmas, y'all. Baby, move to your right a little bit. I, I haven't told him what kind of these you guys. Move to your right just a little bit. So, That's Christmas, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Christmas. It's doggone good. That is Christmas. Okay, oh. now I'm going to tell you what kind it is. Because I didn't want you to be extra.
And what's on the top is sprinkle is nutmeg. Mm -hmm. okay. A pecan? Oh, baby, we've already done butter I'm, pecan. I'm trying to figure out what is this. It's good. It's Christmas. You can't think. It's eggnog. That's what it is. I've never had. Have you had? Eggnog. Have you had eggnog before? Yes. You have? Mm -hmm. Okay. I could not, but I, it's not something I, I, you know, something I do frequently, but very rare. Well, but the taste. Some eggnog. But the taste. There was life before you, well, you Donald. Some, well, you there was life egg, before you. We well, had some eggnog with. Jackson. Jackson. Now you want to laugh. But it's, y'all, this is really good. Surprisingly. I just don't know what I expected. Ooh, I really love that I added the nutmeg. Y'all, nutmeg, I love it so much. I realize why I love it so much because nutmeg reminds me of my mom. And I think it's, I know it's with the sweet potato pie. So that's why I love nutmeg. I love the way it smells. I love the taste. And just adding that extra little nutmeg to it you guys this is Be really don't drop, don't drop it this is really I'll good with it. I'm just saying. okay you guys we're not gonna hold you long tonight oh wow mm. thank y'all for y'all suggestions uh, somebody suggested uh, yeah you know i have a list of cakes to do like a list because mm. i'm always getting suggestions okay yeah. well thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, it's when it shakes up. You, you saving that last fight for me? So sweet. You already What they need to do? Y'all, he's not been home too long, so he's tired. Y'all can tell me he's tired. Because he be a little low-key. <laughs> you good, babe? Mm -hmm. All right. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us. Baby, ain't nothing else on the salsa? I'm just saying. Mm. That's good. Oh! It kind of tastes like the cookies, too. That my mama makes. That's that flavor too. The sugar cookies. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. What's wrong, babe? What you mean? You alright? Yeah. I know you're tired. Yeah, I'm fine. I was just talking that I never. It, it's just that taste. That taste. It's, 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 okay, it's, 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 we call you guys. Bye.